Severity Index. This video is in response to an assignment in the course taught by Farouk Alimi at Georgetown Department of Health Systems Administration. The course focuses on health information systems. In this assignment, we were asked to construct a severity index that could be used in conducting casual comparative effectiveness studies. The course is available at the website noted. This course is an open online resource available without password limitations. Ten patients and their relative diagnoses were noted in the data provided for us. The conditions that are documented include myocardial infarction, congestive heart failure, hypertension, diabetes, and alcohol use. Length of stay is reported for each case. Take for example case three. Patient three was noted for having a first diagnosis of MI, a second diagnosis of CHF, and a third diagnosis of diabetes. This patient had a length of stay of six days. The data indicates the conditions that each patient may or may not have. Each time a number one is listed in a column, that condition was present in the patient's diagnosis. Every time a zero is indicated, that condition was absent from the diagnosis. On the far left column is the length of stay per case. Using Microsoft Excel 2007, we performed a regression analysis using the analysis tool pack. We input length of stay for the Y range and indicators of disease in the X range. On this slide, we can see the coefficient column, which is the severity of disease. We standardize the coefficients to range from 0 to 1. 1 indicates the most severe disease, which was found to be CHF. We used the standardized regression weights and added them to our data, found in the last column of the chart. To find overall severity, we used a multiplicative utility model to score the severity of each case. 